Welcome back everyone, let's play World Waves 3 as Germany episode number 20. We've reached the second decade of of episode numbers, I guess. Anyway, uh, boy, several hopefully quick comments. Um, uh, it's been a while, I did go on a little bit of a trip, and now I'm looking at this and wondering what's going on. No, not really, I mean I did start to rename the Gregor Muckenberger right before uh, doing this video. And I also, of course, was paying keen attention to the comments, as always, and boy, oh boy, uh, people did not let slide that I completely forgot about um, using turret arcs. No, um, <laughs> cross tech fire. So this is pretty funny, though. I, I was really funny, I think. You know, painful, but funny to watch the dozens of comments pour in truly dozens actually it's not you know there is a thumbs up and all that to make sure that you i mean as a way of reaffirming what someone previously has said in the comment section but um for emphasis i'm sure it was not utilized it was new comments tons of comments about how i miss cross tech fire now I, to be fair i've been in your shoes i've seen a youtube personality or streamer miss something Obviously, I know where Cross Deck Fire is. Um, just gonna chalk that one up to mistake. I mean, that just a, a boneheaded maneuver. I do apologize because I know that that is frustrating. Like I said, I've been in your shoes. I've, I've, that's very frustrating. Um, and probably if I had time, I'm not sure. Actually, I won't say probably, but maybe if I had time, if I wasn't right on the, really on the verge of a, a trip, I could have gone back and edited that or something. Actually, it was a whole episode later I didn't realize it for, so I get the recording of two videos and really sunk me there. Okay, um, let's move on. So we have um, very nearly at war with Russia. That would be that would be okay with us. As a recap, they're allied with France. Um, we hope that that doesn't extend into a war with Great Britain, but it could. But I'm pretty confident as I have been the last war or two, and have been utterly decimated by these wars, but I'm still kind of confident going into, notice I'm now only kind of confident, kind of instead of fully, uh, about a war against Russia. So I will still pursue it. Now, as far as this being okay, there's a good comment that the game does account for the ships you're building. Yeah, so in one month we're going to lose this, and we're gonna have to have another one building. So let me just check real fast. What happens if I halt these? Does that, it'll be evaluated in three months so we can see when it'll be evaluated. I um, probably could have done better. I probably could have halted these earlier and I could have had this evaluated in three months. So like in three months, what I think I want to do is uh, turn one of these off in two months and another one on three. I'm going to try to cheese the system still. I don't want another Blitzdraka as, as nice as I think that they are, because now we do have cross tech fire and such things like this. In fact, I, I'm now it's been over a week and I no longer have retained whether or not we saved one of our new designs. Did we not save the new design? We don't have any... Uh, I probably was just fooling around with it and eventually I didn't utilize it. Anyways, I know where cross tech fire is now. But I knew that last turn too. Let me just sort by date modify. You can see it's been June 20th. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time. So the Funken Shissa, this is, this is it. But I didn't end up going with this one. Why not? We designed it and I just let it go. Um, so somebody probably already knows what they're, what I'm talking about and has, once again, and I apologize for this, I do. Screaming at the screen. Anyway, I just don't have the money for it, right? That's the reason. The rationale is probably I don't have the money for it. Okay, well, let's try to do this halt game. Let's see if this works. Right on the precipice of war, we're looking at the Italian light cruisers. Now, these truly could be light cruisers, although maybe still protected cruisers. These are four inch guns. I don't really care. Ah, well. I think I'll still go to war. Okay, triple turrets, my God. 
Interesting. Japanese. Oh, interesting. So Japan and Russia are there. So we have two months left, right? So I'll wait one month and then I'll undo one of these. And then I'll wait another month and I'll do another, undo another one. I mean, we could always just purchase one, but this is more fun. It's quite interesting the way this works. I'm not, I mean, frankly, I'm not sure. New docs completed. That's going to save us more money. Uh, we get to see the Italian dreadnought Roma. 18,000 tons, not too heavy, 22 knots. That's a good speed. I think that's the speed of the original HMS dreadnought. Two Samir, 612. I mean, it's only three centerline turrets, so it's only six 12 inch guns. 14 six inch guns, A3. I mean, get rid of the A3 inch guns. Those are not gonna do really anything. Not a bad ship though. I'm gonna say that that's a pretty good ship, especially designed for only 18,000 tons. Okay, we have more um, weight savings. We'll definitely want to redesign the Fukushima, Shisa, whatever it's called, um, at this point, since we have more battlefield advantages. So this is evaluated in one month. Let's go ahead and hit resume, and then we'll resume the next one after that. Let's see if this works. Actually, mm, yeah. I kind of doubt it will. I think I need something, well, anyway. Let's figure it out. Should have nothing to worry about. Okay, so it looks like it's fine. Um, make him a national hero. We're just trying to push this war. Better torpedoes right on time. I don't think, by the way, that torpedo weight changes based on torpedo technology. I've never noticed that. It could be, because I've never investigated that. But um, that was a comment possibly about the weight change. Okay, we are at war. Um, okay, so we we should be fine. Oh, okay, good. So we'll resume construction because we no longer have build requirements. We'll get all these things. We're at war, so we would like these ships as quickly as possible. Um, turns out that I forgot to mobilize. Well, no, we mobilized at some point, I suppose, just to increase tensions, probably. Very good of us. We don't have that many Corvettes. I'm probably gonna need to, another line of Corvettes soon. With the current budget situation, I think that's gonna be hard to work out right now. It will only get slightly better in a month. <laughs> it will get slightly better and even better after that in another couple months beyond that. All right, let's take a look at the situation here. Especially important is going to be with the distribution of Russian forces. See, they have 102 points here and I only have one. So we are probably going to be blockaded unless I take action. Now I don't, yeah, I, I wanna take action. I wanna move some ships back, I definitely do. So we're gonna want enough points in Northern Europe that we can prevent um, being blockaded, which means just gather up the troops. Um, let's assume that we're going to need at least 102. That's 10%, I'm not sure how the blockade modifiers are gonna work, so let's just go for 100 or so. We got um, the Schweitzers, which are quite old, um, probably best in the Baltic, honestly, but against Russia, I mean, for now, let's move them back to Northern Europe. Or maybe should I do this the other way around? Should I move most things back to Northern Europe, expecting that France will soon participate? Yeah, I'm not sure. We would certainly like some battles against... Okay, by the way, please tell me, I forgot to get more in depth with the... Uh, yeah, what's going on here? Can I assign a commander? Why did we not assign a commander? This guy's brilliant. Let's, ass <laughs> let's assign him. <laughs> what kind of ships are these? Yeah, these are ships which could use a brilliant commander. Yeah, good. Let's do it. Um, main question was whether there are the ladder rungs, and they are um, being... Uh, are they divisioned? which I probably could have figured out from this side. Yeah, we have a lot of things in division. We don't have the full organization as several people have pointed out. And I think that is gonna be more fun. Now in my head, for some reason that it becomes more important with carriers, where I wanna have specifically these light cruisers with those carriers and yada, yada, yada. But uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be very effective to have those kind of things now and it might improve the battle generation. I don't know. I mean, obviously the battle generation must have been changed somehow because 
don't know. I mean, it's a uh, must be different, right? Because they have divisions now that work into the battle stuff. And okay, so we want all the Bowden Seas. We want all these guys, even though they have funky guns hanging off the side of the ship. All of these are going to trade protection, as for, from what I remember. And we're going to go to unrestricted warfare. I don't even know how many submarines we retained. And yeah, almost none. 24. Might be time for more of those. I really do love submarines. And as Germany, it feels very, very appropriate. Okay, so let's get people out of the Baltic. Um, I'm going to go back with my original plan. Let's just, uh, I'm going to move the best of the best. So this is a little bit weird. <sighs> Dangerous even. But I'm just going to move the best into Northern Europe, expecting that we'll, oh, well, that's not the best. Well, okay, this is very easy. We're going to get our points very quickly then. Um, you guys will all move. And by the way, what, I know that you can move by division. I wonder if there'd be a way of, I don't know, uh, the UI in this. Again, just insert your obligatory Tortuga comment about the UI. That is nine times nine. We have almost all of the points we want to you know, prevent blockade. I think I'll leave a lot of the armored cruisers in the Baltic. And they do like to operate there, as we've seen in the past. Maybe some of the slower ones, like the Volgalands. I don't know. These guys might not be eh, very good there. Or maybe they're exactly the kind of ship we need there. Yeah, I mean, all these are obsolete with dreadnoughts. Unfortunately, I can't make up my mind very quickly about who should return. Freyas are ancient. I think I'll get the Freyas to actually return. Um, they're, in the end, probably very good. Wait, 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 wait. Who's in Northeast Asia? I just want to make sure I'm not moving people out of Northeast Asia. The Freyas are not in Northeast Asia. Okay, move over to Northern Europe. And I'm probably going to want some of these guys to raid as well. Second, get these guys half there. And by the way, I mean, I, I needed to cut away there for a second for outside noise reasons, but um, I am noticing a blockade purpose. It's nine for the battleships, six for the armor cruisers, four for the armor, uh, protected cruisers, zero for destroyers. So it, do, it really does appear like there's a fixed amount. I'm not seeing any kind of tonnage differential. We do have tonches up to fifty percent more, and I'm not seeing any impact on the blockade amount. Same thing here. All of these are six, so it does look like the protected cruiser, as light as possible, is your is, like it, it is. It's your, like I still want to. I just want to find a way to break the game. Look, I should I should always say this every time I start a series. The way I play, I, I like to find those little edges, those little wrinkles, those unrealistic ways of breaking the, kind of like breaking the game, um, in order to edge out an advantage. Maybe that's not like very rewarding play to, to watch. I, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely some, I play it normal enough and the, or maybe it's to the game's credit that it has few enough corners. You still get nice battles and, you know, it's not just a raffle stomp of, you know, I did, I cheesed this tactic and it worked and I won everything. I still like to find those things though, to give me a little leg up so that when bad things happen, we kind of have that weighting the things in our favor. Okay. Um, what did I want to do? I forgot, but I moved, I need to move some light cruisers over to Europe and that's probably the perfect op opportunity for these potencies, I guess. Let's move all of these, which should be plenty over to Northern Europe. And then we, we, you know, for crying out loud, we do need somebody in Northern Europe who can actually be a, uh, a battle, you know, can be involved in battles. So let's get you guys as well. So what I suspect is going to happen is we are not going to end up, our, hopefully this is enough to actually blockade them. Um, okay. So we need destroyers as well. Let's leave the crappy ones in the Baltic. Stromer is fine. The hamburgers, these guys are coming home. And are the other ones too? We have some in Northern Europe, some not. I think I'm just going to send the hamburgers down all over there. 
to the Northern Europe because we have some, I mean, these guys should be in divisions as well. That's messy on my part. Might be a little bit late to form divisions. I'm not even sure if they're not in a division how it works um, because they get into a division. They are put into a division, I mean, you know? So does that mean that their experience is poor or what? I mean, I don't know. Okay, so we have light cruisers. We have light cruisers down to the Bodavigs. And I had some not in, I don't know why, I forgot my motivation for that exactly. Probably to have like free form or fillers or something. But I never put destroyers into divisions. I think I'll start doing that with just the hamburgers. I love saying hamburger and having it mean something serious <laughs> besides food. All right, get some destroyer divisions in here at last. And we're going to start again with the hamburgers, which should be an easy name to find. Four, and then new division, another destroyer. Probably not the best idea to be forming these after the outset of war, but that's, I don't know, that's just a bad bad move on Tortuga. I guess it's just the laziness, a little bit of laziness. Procrastination. You know, I, I would once again point a finger at the AI, because I, I mean the UI, because I feel like that excuse is going to, I'm just going to work that one. Wow, 30 knots. Pretty good. And there's nine of these. So let's get five in the first group and four in the next. We get another one. Or you know what we could do is remove you and then do a four and then leave one just without a division. I don't mind having five destroyers in a division. I really don't. But... I won't have, yeah, okay, yeah, I think I will put that guy back then. I changed my mind. All right, they're not all in the same plot, spot, but they will be after next turn, assuming they all are able to make the move. Okay, very good. And then we have, okay, then we just have Corvettes, which are all going to go to trade protection. And next turn. All right, cruiser action in Russia. What I'm most interested in seeing, oh my goodness, is what was the uh, what was the result of the blockade type stuff. And oh my goodness, this is not going to be good. Hey, look, I actually moved the screen before we started, though. That's helpful, hopefully. Okay, good. Um, I have not utilized, oh, this is not good. This is, this is why I'm just going to move every, I think everyone's getting out of the Baltic and I'm only going to leave some armored cruisers there. <laughs> oh man, I hate this. Okay, why did the Trier start on AI control? Because it's a scout division? Yeah, I don't, I'm just going to put you on... I would like to change its formation, really, is what I wanted to do. Should be able to do it now. Yeah, line ahead, that's good. And we'll, we'll technically make you the scout division now. But let's have you go backwards. Now they're moving at 14. I don't know why they're moving at 14. That's pretty fast. Cruise is 14 now. Okay. Was it always? I thought it was 12. So we're going to move back. In fact, our, own, our sole hope here is the Volgalands. My goodness. Not great. They have good armor. Might be a bit old, though, unfortunately. And it's not bad. It's really not bad. Got the four 8-inch guns, and then they have eight 4-inch gun broadsides. What are we up against is another question. I'd like to bring this whole... Okay, it's going to be nighttime soon. We probably will just flee this battle. We have no penalty for doing so. Wish we knew what we were up against. Of course, that's always the... It's what every commander would like to know, I'm sure. What the heck are we facing? So what I could do, though, is we have these... Um, look at this. Got these guys who I could potentially just launch into wild, reckless attacks. And that's kind of the way of things for Tortuga's destroyers, right? So we'll get the other guys home, and then we'll just have these guys 
Goodness gracious, that's a bit fast. 18, how about that? I can make do with 18. Form up and then send them in. Okay, let's go up to 20. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's the full force. No, oh, no, 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 stay at 20. Set up the maneuver. The maneuver. Oh, you guys gotta squad max it. Okay, we see a light cruiser, which is not great. I mean, this is such chaos. I don't know what is even going on here. All right, well, that's a nice target. 13,000 tons. Wouldn't mind to get a torpedo into that guy. Not really sure what else is going on, though. Oh, okay. This is... Developing well. Developing very well. Never what you want to do to be trying to pull in the same direction towards them. But that's what we're doing here. Okay. Um, let me go to line ahead, line abreast here. This is the cheese part of the game, by the way. The unrealistic thing is definitely coming in full force. Oh yeah, that's... That's a problem for V2, that's for sure. I don't think you guys have forward mounted torpedoes, do you? You've expended all your torpedoes? Oh, not expended. They say expended, what they mean is destroyed. No, not, I, I take it back. This guy has definitely launched two torpedoes. Okay, what's your remaining torpedo? Center line, okay. Well, we have no limits then on what we do with it. We just got better torpedoes right before this war too, which is perfect. They are launching torpedoes like crazy. Uh, wow, 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 if only I was paying more attention. That would have been excellent of me, but I wasn't. What do you have remaining? How many have you launched? Oh, it's still this guy. Wait, well, where's the other guy? Oh, V2, this, are they well, the same, I guess? Funny that you can launch this. This isn't considered friendly ship in line of fire. All right, slow it down because things are getting a little crazy here. Get this guy out of the battle now that he's done his job. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh boy, got some problems here though, don't we? So, Southern 1 is wounded, um, and, you know, V2 can sit there and be a... Uh... Maybe I will go back. Interesting little dodging and bobbing and weaving. So you, yeah, you just head that way. I know that's a little bit weird. He's going to go right through that guy. All right, he made it. He misunderstood. Okay, the best one to misunderstand signals. In fact, that second best. V2 being would have been the best. So we just push the southern guy as fast as we can at this point. It's pretty remarkable. I didn't want to say it because I'm probably going to jinx it. But it's pretty remarkable how accurate our destroyers have been. And that may be chalked up to their incredible experience. Um, compared to the uh, Russians so far. Okay, S-15 just got whacked. Can she launch some at this guy? No. And that's all it takes really in this early on. Some good 
fire, and there you go. That's, well, oh, oh, well, did not. Huh. We're reporting that the Bol Boleslav has been hit by a torpedo. I don't, I just can't imagine that that's true. V2 is finally sinking as well. Not a surprise. We are launching a lot of torpedoes willy-nilly. But look, if we can hunt down, and by the way, we've seen that the AI has had this very unique gift to survive torpedo hits. I'm hoping that we can nullify that. Can you just launch any? No, you can't. All right. Probably we got to give up the chase here. I hate to say it, but. What? How do we do that? I'm not sure what's going on. These can't be real reports. They'll detach eventually. Well, now we technically have two torpedo hits. Can't tell if they've actually slowed down or not. But we'd like to pursue this one. What Your speed just seems... Comically slow. Yeah, these guys are getting hit by a lot of torpedoes that I'm not sure how that's happening. Let's try to catch up with her. She's the main one I want. These guys are just insult adding insult to injury by peppering the ship with what I would consider small arms fire. Now three inch shell, I wouldn't want that going anywhere near me, but at the same time. Compared to the armor of these armored cruisers, it's uh, really not going to do much. Okay, we're just about there. Let's close in. Dang it. Oh my god, why are they launching torpedoes? Okay, now you can launch torpedoes. I don't know if they'll be... You gotta be kidding me. S18, come on S18, don't fail me S18! No, S18, you failed me! For the last time! A little morbid, but that's just the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. Let's ram them. Well, we tried. <laughs> uh, we did our best. Our level best. And look at this. People say that I'm, like, really bad with my destroyers, but it, look, so far, one has survived. That is, like, I mean, I present this as evidence of how careful and cautious I am with my destroyer crews. Possibly another one here. Oh, this guy is, oof, come to a stop already. Uh, that's not a good sign for him. Looks like we might even survive with the second destroyer. Doubling expectations, in my opinion. Remarkable that we would get this many. All right, so let's do a little squad max, zipping around. So funny thing, uh, they started doing some lawn, some uh, lawn work or something in the house next door, and had to pause again. Okay, I got completely. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I kind of forgot where I was, but this all this says that everything. We can kind of even review the state of the battle for a brief moment here. Um, we're going to take down at least one um, uh, armored cruiser, and we know that the destroyers. We have quite a few destroyers who are going to be in a, bit, in a bad way. <laughs> Some of them already beyond that, as in they're dead. Not, that, that's such a harsh word. Let's say, you know, eternal, eternal patrol. I don't know if that works for destroyers, as I know it's mostly coined, or at least I've only heard it used coined for submarines, but maybe we can just double up on that. Put this on down to cruise speed. Just want to get these guys out of here. It um, doesn't really matter where I put them. I mean, I can send them down to Kohlberg there. That's Kohlberg. I think it is. Uh, just trying to get them out of the way. 
but uh, more west than just pure south, so we avoid anything that might be lurking out the Libau port to our south. Yeah, we'll do the same thing with this guy. I'm not sure what what exactly this is going to accomplish, but uh, he should probably be more interested in the immediate evacuation of the area, regardless of long-term direction. And I don't think we should even bother firing a torpedo here. So I will hold fire with missiles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hold fire with torpedoes. It's easy to <laughs> click on the wrong button if you're me and not used to the UI, but yeah, I don't think we, okay. I have done this way too many times where I didn't overkill and they survived. I'm pretty surprised a lot of the times when this happens, but we're gonna go ahead and fire a port side from here. We're gonna go ahead and fire another port side if this one doesn't hit, and it did. Okay, so that's probably sufficient for us to say, game over for you. And I don't feel like investigating the other armored cruiser because it's quite possible we will run into their destroyers and meet a... Right, as I say that, I, might, I started to think, you know what? Maybe we will. Maybe we'll go look. It had one or two torpedo, no, two, one torpedo hit. So we just need to go up here a ways and see if we can spot her. You know, if she has come to a, a crawl, very likely she's headed towards the nearest port, which actually would be south, interestingly enough. And we kind of actually have a patrol to the south. Okay, well, let's just do this. Let's cut off both the most, um, expected avenues of escape. So I will have these guys head towards this point. And this group has already kind of started to leg it in a cutoff direction. And then eventually we'll more, much more dangerous for my armored cruisers to be engaging in anything right now. I probably should put them up to squad max. Let me pause real fast. What is their squad max? Ugh, 16, the Volga Lance, man. But at least we know if we take a hit with a torpedo that we have a chance of surviving it. <laughs> okay, let's go down to cruise speed here. And that's probably enough of a berth for Libau that we can head due south to Danzig. Due south to Danzig, that should be the, the name of a band. I forgot that clicking on things, I don't know if it used to bring you back into um, pause time in World Waves 2, but it definitely does here. Still getting used to that. So if we don't find her, yeah, okay, every time it stops, I keep thinking we must have found a ship, but no, not yet. And they very, um, they very well could have just gone north. Riga's not like, I, I mean, I don't know what the AI will choose to do. Can't, can't really predict that. I could tell that we must not be going um, squad max for everyone correctly anymore because we had one of them starting to uh, lose some distance here. Anyways, I think we're good on this battle. It's possible we'll run into them again, but we're content. Oh heavens. That's one way of happening. What do we got here? We're gonna move at an angle. If this is indeed a destroyer, it's gonna take a volleys of fire, many a volley of fire before it gets into torpedo range. And I think that, I'm surprised this thing is not straight up dead at this point. We'll angle a little bit further away just to prevent any possibility of a torpedo solution. And we'll bring down my Cruisers as fast as possible, which is 14, no, 17. Look at that. Uh, this has been a spectacular result so far. I think we've, you know, rounded off those guys and let's get the next one. Yeah, they've turned away and we're pretty aggressive here deciding to pursue, but I think we will. In fact, we'll do the old pincer movement. This is not really a pincer rather than converging. Kind of, I don't know. Okay, this is terrible. Also not great. But I think some hard turns away here are in order. And we're probably losing a lot of speed for turnaways here. 
Let's see, what, what are you down to? 14 knots. Oh, not bad, not bad. And are you guys going squad max? You are. I mean, I feel like we're actually doing a fair amount of damage here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy has been... He's been gimped. We'll swoop in for the kill. I mean, it's just a destroyer, but... It's a destroyer. Where did he go? Okay, he's still... I want to do an angle so that he can't turn and give us the old broadside, uh, which he's still trying to do. But, unless he has forward fire and torpedoes, it's very unlikely he's going to be able to get in that. And we'll, we'll bring in the protected cruisers for the follow-up, getting my armored cruisers out of here. We'll leave the armored cruisers in the area, back down to cruise, uh, just in case we come up with anything bigger than a destroyer. Oh. Well, we are lurking, though. And they are, I mean, they are lurking. That's the dead one, presumably dead. The fact that we aren't engaging it seems to indicate that it is actually dead. They do this with transports as well. Wait, no. Decide to engage. Since I've already begun my turn to starboard, I'll continue it that way. Give them some fire practice, if nothing else. Live target practice. Okay, it's down. Very good. So, um, yeah, we were able to add a little bit more to the battle. And considering our luck with blockades and all that, it, this is a great result. I think we once again can go up to very fast. We're currently just on cruise mode. And almost out. There it is. Okay, this, this, is, this is a spectacular. My first spectacular result of the series. I mean, I think we fought well in previous battles, but this is the first one which really, I think, really did it. So in the end, we had uh, only three destroyers lost. We saved half of our destroyers. This is a remarkable number. And the enemy lost three destroyers as well. Much more importantly, what the heck was the submarine doing? But uh, much more importantly, um, they lost... They really did get hit by these torpedoes. Are those friendly torpedoes? Maybe that's what friendly fire torpedoes is all about. Letting the AI torpedo itself. In which case, I'm all for it. Um, and two armored cruisers, which is the big one. So that other one, we didn't find it, but it did find its way to a watery grave. Yeah, this one is the one we, I mean, surely the one that we pursued aggressively. But even the buy-in with only one torpedo hit was not able to save itself. And there you go. Man, I feel like, did, did this trip I recently went on flip my luck? I'm certainly liking what I see here a lot more than what I used to see, which was ships surviving and, you know, all kinds of stuff that I generally don't like. So major victory, we gained prestige, we got a lot of victory points, which is a nice way to start off the war. Um, Battle of Urban Straits. Our ship is commissioned. She surpassed her design speed. Okay, the Princessin von Winterwolf is... What class is that? That's a Blitzdrucker, right? Oh my gosh, we got quality zero 13-inch guns. Which, we've been looking at this 11-inch gun for cross deck fire which would have been kind of like it would have kind of been like a a light a, it would be like a slow fast battleship <laughs> it wouldn't be as heavily armed or armored but it would also not be quick <laughs> anyway this is great so we got 19 we were expecting to get 19 out of this thing we got 20 and this is going to be a killer i mean again we have this seven Gun broadside with 12 inch guns. These are 12 inch quality zero, if I'm not mistaken. And now we have 13 inch quality zero, which is also, I mean, it's crazy the fact that we're just jumping. I'm not crazy, right? We didn't even have quality negative one. Yeah, we, in fact, we don't have quality negative one 12 inch guns yet. <laughs> we're jumping straight to quality zero. Very strange. Now, I, I mean, there, there used to be this uh, rate of fire chart, whatever, and and then at some point the rate of fire thing was was kind of like all seen as like a myth, that the game hardcore capped everything so that 
Um, like very few guns did not achieve their rate of fire. So you didn't actually need to account for that. But I still kind of believed, oh, look at that, we're blockading them. Man, when things work, sometimes they just work. It's like when it, when it rains, it pours. And sometimes when it's sunny, it's just really, really sunny. Yeah, we did um, accomplish 185 here. They're down to 54. I believe that this is mostly accounting for Northern Europe. Because we, well, we almost have enough strategic points to have them blockaded in the Baltic as well. I will surely take the blockade. I'm very happy about that. I think we're going to have to continue to shift some, some ships out of the Baltic, though, because I, uh, I do fear the impending um, war declaration by France. Which is why I'd like for my best ships to be in northern... Oh, well, yeah, indeed we will have them, including the Dreadnoughts. Do I want to pull out my weaker ships? I don't think so. I'm going to leave them in there. For now. I mean, once... If we get embarrassed or something, I mean... You know, it's... it's uh, you always think about how... Yeah, I would love to retire my ships in, in like a warrior's retirement. You know, just charge them into battle and get them sunk. But then you lose victory points. You can't just do it in theory. I mean, I mean, the abstraction here is probably the not just the embarrassment of losing, but that people wouldn't be happy to know that all those sailors were lost. <laughs> but for me, it's more about the victory points. Not a quote directly, but just, you know. <laughs> Admiral Torturpitz, he greatly values his his sailors, of course. Um, I think we can hit next turn here, but I definitely cannot do another battle. And there it is. Ah, due to an intelligence coup, we can ambush an enemy force. I will accept this because I'm intrigued by what this ambush is going to entail. Also note that this is in Northern Europe. Like what would an ambush entail if it's one armored cruiser? Okay, let's get these guys. So despite the fact that we are ambushing them, I don't have the ability to actually control the ambush. Um, which is, I guess, a little bit different than the Japanese ability to, uh, you know, essentially go into the enemy port, the surprise attack one. Let me try to do this independent, which should change their formation. I already know that this one has been changed to support. And I guess we're very soon going to see the enemy. Ambush, what does that mean? I mean, what would it mean? It should be maybe an objective thing? Or is it a chance to ambush the enemy and we uh, we just failed that chance? Also, the world would like to know what you're doing, Mr. Hamburger. You are apparently going blazing speeds off to in the wrong direction. I saw something I didn't, I guess. We may actually miss these guys altogether. I don't know what the deal is here. Okay, we have the control now. Okay, I'm hitting space. Let's get this guy back. I don't I just don't understand what happened here. Well, we'll have to run him a little bit faster just to catch him up. Um, I'm still kind of curious if this is just going to be a, a, a miss. Let me get these guys down to 12 and these guys up to 15. Freya, what are you, Freya? This is seven inch guns, not great as far as armored cruisers go. Yeah, definitely on the weaker ends. We may end up turning tail and running here. I'm still tentatively going to commit because I don't know what this coup thing is would be very happy just to retreat. In fact, why would we take a chance on this when we are already um, 
doing well in terms of blockade, this can only go poorly for us. Let's put this guy down to cruise. And unless we spot them when the... Yeah, did not spot them even then. Yeah, this guy's going a little too fast. We'll put him down to 12 just so the other ones catch up. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of the battle. Okay, so this was not a good engagement for us anyway. Somehow... We got 600 points for surviving. Well, I'm not going to question it. It should be a draw anyway, because that's very few points. Oh, it's, it's a still marginal victory. More importantly, I'd like to see... Okay, wow. Whenever I see Krupp and armor development, I think big things. But this might not be that impactful. It says just gradual improvement of armor quality. Almost have plotting tables. That would be great for our um, uh, fire control, I believe. Oh, yeah, they're in Northeast Asia. I forgot about that. Submarines appear to be very ineffective. We did gain 280 victory points. And they do have an armored cruiser in West Africa, of all places. Anyways, let's try to see. 3,500, this is 280. And they have five victory points. So 446, so I guess this should be, but I have no idea what it'll actually do. 3894 and 451. Um, that's interesting. Let's view relations. Japan wants to form an alliance. I don't want to do it Purely because I'm not sure how wars work when wars are united. Does it reset your victory points right when we're doing well? It would mean that the enemy... Pro I don't know if it would be con we'd be considered dominated in Northeast Asia. I guess the next thing for me to do is actually view the almanac and see what Japan brings to bear currently. They have a pretty reasonable budget. I mean, frankly, it's almost as good as ours. And look at it. We've, uh, we've gone from... I think we were behind, maybe we were average, but we're now we're advanced. In fact, according to this at least, we are only second to Great Britain in terms of technological development. That's very interesting. I don't know, I, the things seem to change in this one a little bit too quickly, but I guess that makes sense. Um, I mean, it makes sense if the game is just calculating this based on text that you've researched. Um, then it can fluctuate very quickly if you suddenly research several different categories all at once. And I think the categories can all just independently start gathering their own progress towards the next tech, which means you might have these like huge waves of tech unlocked and go from, you know, backwards to very advanced <laughs> if you just happen to have, you know, the stars align. Anyway, um, they have 55,000 in terms of dreadnoughts. That's pretty good. That is a match for the French, which is, I mean, we're very soon, I assume, going to be at war with France. Um, man, Russia actually has six, crazy, they have six very good, about my um, tonnage, uh, dreadnoughts in development. Hopefully those aren't too, well, we can actually take a look. And this is a good place to call this video to a close too. So maybe I'll start the next one with the almanac and kind of look. Um, so let's just quickly kind of just look at these two columns right here. Will they help? I mean, they have a lot of battleships. That's awesome. Um, they are that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Does it reset my victory points? No. Great. And we didn't get credit for blockade. Yeah, something is broken with the victory point situation. I don't know what, but blockade points don't seem to be working quite right. I don't mind too much. I mean... As long as we blockade them and they continue to get higher unrest or whatever and it forces a victory. No, but you know what? I do care. <laughs> Why is the victory points not going? This is how you end up acquiring more territory or more war reparations. Wish I knew. But until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.